Hello, and welcome to Yoga with Yo Gabriella. My goal is to enhance the quality of your experiences and your energy so that you can embody your essence, to understand the language of your body, and to realign the posture of your heart so you can fully indulge with the richness of life. So whether you're new or you're coming back, I'm so blessed to have you a part of this tribe to share this experience with you. And I'm truly honored that you're here. So whenever you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. So whenever you're ready, start to close the eyes. And I want you to bring attention to your body. Where are you feeling any crinkles, stagnation, stiffness? Observe where your body is at. Where do you carry your stress? Maybe you do a body scan. There's no right or wrong. And then I want you to bring attention to your mind, your emotions, your state of being. How are you feeling today? Where are you at? Is it chaotic? Is it calm? Just observe. And then I want you to bring attention to your breath. without changing it. Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it shallow? Or is it deep? And then where are you breathing from? Are you breathing from your chest, your belly? Maybe your back. And as you have this internal inventory, I want you to take a deep breath in from the nose and side out the mouth. Take another deep breath in and let it go. On your next inhale, see if you can fully expand the ribs, breathe through the belly, take in as much oxygen as you can. Take a deep breath in, hold it. And slowly, with control, exhale out. If you want to continue taking these deep cleansing breaths, you can go ahead. If not, just take a moment and observe the subtle changes just by taking deep breaths, just by being here. And as I mentioned about our intentions of the different parts of us that create our wholeness, we cannot be whole if we are avoiding these parts of us, if we neglect them. So today I ask you to 
set the intentions to become curious. Giving yourself grace as you explore these parts of yourself. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Slowly, you can start to bring your knees in towards your chest. You can rock from side to side, holding your knees. Massage in the lower back, the organs inside. Notice the feelings. And then go ahead, you can place your hands either on your knees or underneath your knees. Keep your legs limb, keep them completely relaxed. And I want you to start making circles with your hands to start to warm up the hips. So holding onto your knees, your hands are drawing circles with your knees. You can make them big or you can make them small. If you haven't already, maybe go the opposite way. Notice the conjunction between your hip and your pelvis. Maybe you go really slow. And then whenever you're ready, your feet can come back down towards the mat. You can roll over onto either side and slowly come up to a cross-legged seated position. So we're just gonna start to warm up the body a little bit. Get into the joints before we go more into a yin-based practice and holding the poses. So we're gonna extend our right leg out towards the side. If you need to jiggle that knee a little bit, we wanna have a little micro bend, it should not be locked out. Her left leg is completely relaxed. If you notice that it comes up, maybe you need to sit on a pillow or something that feels supportive. Your hands are gonna come up overhead. You're gonna to face towards your right knee and then you're hinging from the hips, reaching your heart space forward. So we hinge from the hips, not the lower back. And wherever you feel a good spot, you can go ahead, place your hands down, grabbing your calf, your ankle, your foot, whatever you feel. And then you can slowly relax the head down. Feel the hamstrings opening up, maybe even the left side of the body. We're gonna hold here for two to three deep breaths and see if you notice little micro millimeter movements of your body. This is your body inviting you in and if you don't feel it, then that's okay. Your body's experiencing what newness feels like. Slowly, your hands are gonna come on the inside of that right knee leg or knee. You're gonna press your right hand against that right leg to twist your chest open, and your left hand is gonna come up and over, reaching for the right side. So now your chest is just exposed up. You'll feel more of a stretch on the right side of the body. And again, if you notice your left knee coming up, maybe you've gone too far, so maybe you just sit up a little bit more. See if you can keep a little bit of activation through those left fingertips. Notice if your body is collapsing down forward and see if you can twist it open towards the ceiling. Go ahead, take two deep breaths in here. Inhale. And then exhale. Slowly you can rise back up. You're gonna bring the right leg in and the left leg extends out. 
We're going to do the same thing. So inhale the hands up overhead. Twist open towards your left. And then slowly hinge in from the hips. Reach for that ankle, the knee. Does not matter wherever you're at. Know that I've been practicing for over six years and I still struggle to reach my foot too sometimes. So again, it's not about what the pose looks like. It's about what the pose feels like. Notice where you're holding control and tension and see if you can guide your breath to remind your body that it's okay and it's safe. You're activating that parasympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. Take one more deep breath in and sigh it out. Slowly, your left hand is going to press on the inside of the left leg and then twist your torso open and the right hand will come up and over, reaching like a rainbow towards the left. Again, if you might not be able to lean over, that's okay. You should still feel a good stretch on the right side of the body. And if you don't know how to relax, maybe you squeeze and you tense your body and then you soften. Take one more deep breath in and exhale out. Slowly you can come back up towards center. We're going to come into a diamond shape. So our feet, the soles of the feet come together out in front of us. Notice the distance. I recommend keeping it a little bit further away from you, creating more of a diamond. If you want more of a butterfly, the feet will come closer towards the groin. They target relatively different muscles. So the inner groin will be the butterfly. If you want more of an exterior, then your legs will come into the diamond, which is further out in front of you. Your hands, palms will face up on your shins. And then slowly you can start to lean your way forward over your feet, over your shins. This is going to be a passive hip opener. You can relax the head down. There's nothing to see. Just trust what you hear. You might notice or feel a stretch on the back of the body as you relax the head down. And give your body permission to soften. Teach your body that it's okay to be calm. A lot of the times we're seeking chaos just because sometimes that's all we have ever known. And we think that that is reality and that that is safe. And meanwhile, there is a time and a place for chaos and action. There's also a place for rest. I'm going to take three more deep belly breaths in and exhale out. Inhale. Inside out. Slowly, you can keep your arms relaxed and start to stack each vertebrae on top of one another until your shoulders stack over your hips. Your feet can come in to a cross legged seated position. Our hands are going to come onto our knees. We're just going to warm up the spine a little bit. So we're just going to take some big circles. So starting to lean over one side, forward, towards the other side. You can make this as dramatic as you would like, or you can make this as small as you would like. See what feels good for the body. 
Maybe you add a little neck movement in as well. Notice the tension in the shoulders. Can you soften them? And then go the opposite way. Follow your breath. And then slowly you can rise back up. Come into center. We're going to interlace our hands behind the back. The palms are touching. It's kind of like you're holding your own hand. We're going to roll the shoulders down and back. And then we're going to bring the hands to the outside of the right hip. Yeah. Did you feel a good shoulder? Yeah. Snap, crackle, pop. And then you can slowly, if this feels good to you, you can tuck your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feel a good stretch on the left side of the neck, maybe even the chest, the pec, the shoulder. And if it's too much for you, that's okay. Maybe you keep your hands pressing into the mat behind you. If you want to rotate your chin in towards your shoulder, you can also rotate your chin towards your shoulder. Invite two deep breaths in from the belly. Feel the air going up the nose, down the throat. And slowly, you can bring your head back up towards center. And then slowly, controllingly, guiding your hands over towards the left. Take a moment, allow your shoulder to open up. See if you can press and relax those shoulders down. And slowly tuck the left ear towards the left shoulder. Notice the subtle changes or the differences between your left and your right side. Slowly, you can tuck your chin towards your left armpit. So it's kind of like you're looking towards your elbow. Take one more deep breath in. Inside. Slowly, you can bring your head back up towards center. Release the hands, bring them back onto the knees. Maybe you want to do some shoulder circles. Get out any kinks that feels good for you. And slowly we're going to come onto our hands and knees. And our first pose that we're going to get into and sit for a while is child's pose. So if this is too much for your knees, you can fold the mat a little bit. You can place the pillow under your knees. You can also place the pillow on the back of your knees. That also will give a different experience as well. But relatively, our knees are going to be open and our toes are going to be coming together. Your hips sit down onto your heels and then start to walk your hands forward out in front of you, bringing your belly onto your thighs. So knees are open up wide. Head rests down. If you want to kind of bend your arms like an equal sign, you can always rest your head on your arms. But I encourage you to just allow the forehead to rest on the mat as much as it can. If you want a pillow for your head, you can also put the pillow underneath your head. Take a moment to surrender. See if your hips can reach your heels. So as we start to get into the yin, and I start to ask more questions, I want you to engage with the emotions that come up. Give them permission to release and watch them transmute.
How did you need to be seen as a child? Your inner child, this is a part of you that's craving the playfulness, the curiosity, the imagination. Maybe your childhood wasn't exactly how you would have liked it to be. So take a moment to give grace to that part of you that maybe didn't get to experience it the way your heart desired. And maybe now is the time to let that inner child loose, to be playful, to wake every single day with awe and curiosity. I'm gonna hold here for five deep breaths. So breathe, relax, feel, watch, and allow. See if you can breathe through the back space. Whatever emotions come up as you think about your inner child, give it some love, welcome it. Bring light to the dark, part that may have never been expressed. Allow it to express itself now. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Slowly, you can press onto your hands, coming back into a tabletop position. And then allow the hips, the body to adjust itself. And we're gonna come into a puppy pose. So see if you can remain your hips stacked over your knees as much as possible. If they need to sit back, that's okay. Just, we don't wanna enter child's pose again. It's gonna be something different. So gently tuck the navel in, contracting the core and the pelvic floor muscles to protect the lower spine. And start to walk your hands out in front of you until it feels comfortable to bring your chin, your forehead, chest down towards the mat. So here we're stretching the shoulders, the upper back, kind of counteracting the pose that we just did. Your elbows can be placed on the mat or they can be lifted up. Take a deep breath in and notice the weight that you carry on your shoulders, the inner critique, the one that tends to judge and acknowledge every little thing. See if you can let go of that critique today. What parts of you are you avoiding? The shadow, the dark, the ego maybe, trying to protect you and keep you safe. But everybody has a side to them that's not always light. And it serves a purpose, a beautiful purpose. 
And as said earlier, there's a time and a place for activity. There's a time and a place for this version of yourself. It's just realizing the power that it does hold, the resource, the tool that it is. And when to use the blade. Take a deep breath in and let go. Slowly, you can press into your hands. Come back up into a tabletop position. You can hold here for a moment. If you need to make any movements swaying from one way to another, you can. Our next pose that we're gonna get into is a half frog. So if you want to use the pillow underneath your knee, you can. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come all the way onto our bellies, coming onto our elbows. We're gonna extend the left knee in line with the left hip. And then the left ankle is in line with the left knee. So we're creating like a little square or 90 degree angle. And your toes point outwards. If this feels uncomfortable, you can always place the pillow underneath your knee. And then slowly, you can start to come all the way down. You can rest your head on your arms. You can open up your arms into a T position. Just notice what feels good for you. And gently allow that hip to open up, to feel the support of the mat beneath you. To feel the support of the sturdiness, the foundation. Where are you relinquishing control? Your ego is to protect yourself. Maybe it creates some fears. So what fears are you trying to protect yourself from that's creating doubt, that opposes faith? Receive some oxygen, taking a breath. What fears are blocking you from the blessings that you deserve? I'm gonna take four more deep breaths. See if you can breathe through the belly, the back. Release any emotions that come up with those fears. Let it go with your breath. Take one more deep breath in and let it go. Slowly you can extend your left leg back. Allow the spine to readjust itself. 
And then when your body feels comfortable and ready, you can slide the right knee up, extending the right knee and the leg out towards the side, coming into that half frog. Notice the subtle differences. We also have a parental self. And this is different than the highest self, but the one that holds yourself to commitment, to obedience, the one that holds yourself accountable for love, sets the boundaries. for your highest self. In what areas in life can you invite more obedience and commitment to yourself, for the love of yourself? What boundaries gets to be placed? And as you start to think about this, I want you to start envisioning the scenes and reenacting them as if they've already existed. Feel it through your entire vessel, the change, the new neural connections. As you revisit these scenes, I want you to anchor in that sensation with your breath. Go ahead, take one more deep breath in. And exhale out. Slowly you can release your right leg back. Give yourself a moment to readjust. And then you can slowly, when your body allows, roll over onto your backs. We're going to do one more pose, which is scissors pose. So our knees are going to be bent. We're going to cross our right leg over our left. So the knees are on top of one another. So it's not a figure four, but it's like you're crossing your legs. So the knees are touching as much as possible. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yep. And whenever you're ready, you can hold here or you can bring your knees in towards your chest. Feel a little bit of a stretch. Or have an internal rotations of the hips. And either you can stay here, keeping your knees in towards your chest, or you can slowly bring your knees over towards the left. 
feet can drop down onto the floor. Your hands can open up into a T position or you can bring them up overhead, whatever feels comfortable for you. Allow the blood flow to be blocked so that it can be replenished as we come out. What parts of yourself that I may have not mentioned that you are avoiding, that deep down you know exist and you're pretending not to know? Maybe you notice that as soon as you accept it, you feel alleviated, liberated. Wholesome. We're going to be here for another three deep breaths. On your last exhale, you can slowly bring your knees back up towards center. Move slowly with control. Be gentle with your body. You can undo the cross of your legs. And then slowly you can cross your left leg over your right. You can hold here, or you can gently bring your knees in towards your chest. And if your body invites you, you can slowly drop your knees over towards the right. Your hands can come open into a T position. Or up overhead, or on your bellies. Whatever feels comfortable for you. If you need the pillow for support, you can always use the pillow as well. And ask yourself, what is it that you need in this moment, in this next step, in this next path, this next direction? What is it that you need? It can be simple as being slow and present. can be grace, it can be asking for support and help, it can be to create something, a routine. What is it that you deep down innately know are your next steps to become more whole? Take a deep breath in. Trust the first response that you hear or acknowledge. And then slowly you can bring your knees back up towards center. Uncross the legs. Make any movement that feels good for you in this moment of time. And whenever you're ready, 
you can slowly bloom yourself open to come into corpse pose, Shavasana. Your legs extend out all the way out in front of you, your hands down by your side. And just like I mentioned, we're gonna do a little breath technique. We're just gonna be having a consistent breath for about 30 rounds, and then we're just gonna hold our breath. So we're gonna tighten up the oxygen, and then we're gonna hold it to allow the oxygen to disperse itself. And then maybe you'll notice a quieter, soother experience in Shavasana. So this is all gonna be inhales from the nose, exhales through the mouth. So whenever you're ready, start to take consistent deep breaths in from the nose. Exhale them out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna do 10 more. Two more. Last one fully in. You're gonna hold here at the top, hold for five seconds. And then slowly exhale out into a passive breath hold. Just hold. Notice the tingling sensations in the body, the mind the head. See how long you can hold it for. And then slowly take a deep breath in. Normalize your breath. Allow your body to become still. And take a moment and see if you can connect with your highest self. The purest version that's deep down inside of you. One that's gentle and soft compassionate. The one that's guiding you with faith and trust. See if you can connect with your faith. Believing in something grander than just our little bodies. Maybe if there's any questions that you have to ask, now is the time to ask.
take a deep breath in from the nose and exhale out. Take another deep breath in and let it go. Anchor in this feeling of peace, serenity. And you can slowly start to make movement into the body. Start with the hands, the ankles. Maybe you take a deep stretch with your hands up overhead. And then slowly, when your body allows, you can slowly bring your knees in and make your way over onto one side. And gently lift yourself to come up into a cross-legged seated position. Be slow, be mindful. Take a moment to just observe the difference that you feel in the mind, the body, the space created. Preserve all the lessons. And even though this was an experience, the journey truly begins after. It's the integration. So maybe you go back and you journal what you experienced out of this, the lessons. And allow it to be with yourself. Your hands can come to prayer pose in front of your heart. Honoring your journey. Honoring all parts of yourself. Parts that make you whole. Reclaim your power. And trust the process. You're divinely guided. May you remember that. The light in me honors the light in you. Malama Pono. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'm truly so grateful to have shared this experience with you. If you are looking to continue feeling expansive, experiencing salvation with a rich quality of life, then please support by subscribing, engaging, and liking this video. Until we meet again, Malama Pono.